WordWiz Series 2 is a vocabulary program that advances and strengthens basic language skills. In this series, the student will learn 96 words and their definitions, scrambled sentences, multiple choice and matching, and sentence writing and spelling. In WordWiz Booklet 2F, the student must complete four pages per day and make 21 mistakes or less to pass. On the first two pages of this booklet, you will find a list of this booklet's definitions. It is important to read these every day you are working in this booklet. Let's read some together. Cave, a hollow place inside the earth. Part of speech is noun since cave is a person, place, or thing. Wild, living or growing in nature, not tamed by human beings. Part of speech is adjective since wild is a describing word. On this exercise, the student will write the letter of the word that matches the given definition. Let's do number one for example. First, read the given definition. Having a strong feeling of being very annoyed at someone or something, furious. Now, look at each answer choice. Angry, snake, hungry, or near. Since the word angry best matches the definition, we know angry is the correct choice. So we will circle the correct answer and write the letter on the line. For this activity, the student will circle the word in the puzzle. Remember, it can be spelled forward, backward, upwards, and downwards. If you find it, cross it out on the bottom. As an example, we will find the word hungry. So once we find it, we circle the word and cross it out in the word bank. On this exercise, the student will write each word five times and then write its definition once. Then, write a sentence using the word and showing its meaning. When writing a sentence, be sure to use your own words and creativity. Here is a good example. I don't like being alone because I like being with others. On this activity, the student will write the correct word for each number definition. Cross out words as they are used. Let's look at number one. First, read the given definition. At or to a short distance in space or time. Close. From reading our definitions page in the front, we know near matches this definition. So we cross out near and neatly write it on the line. Here, the student will write each word inside its matching shape. Let's look at number 11, for example. Number 11 has a long box, two short boxes, a tall box, and two more short boxes. Looking at the words given, we can see that the word garden matches these shapes. So we will cross out the used word and write each letter in its correct place. On this activity, the student will fill in the crossword puzzle by writing the word that matches the number definition and direction. Let's do number three, for example. First, read the definition. Away from anything or anyone else. Since we know this is the definition for alone, we will write the word in the boxes for number three across. Here, the student will fill in the missing letters and spell the vocabulary word correctly. Let's do number one, for example. Since we are familiar with our vocabulary words, we know alone would be the correct word here since we are given the second and fourth letter. So we will fill in the missing letters on the space provided. On this next part of the activity, the student will put the letters in the correct order to spell the vocabulary word. We are given the scrambled letters N, E, Q, U, and E. We can refer back to the definitions page to see that these letters are in the word queen. So we will neatly write queen on the provided line. Here, the student will write the words in the parentheses into the correct spaces in each sentence. Let's look at number one for example. Since I live blank my blank, I blank blank my bike. So we look at the words given in parentheses and form a complete sentence by neatly writing the words in the correct blanks. Since I live near my school, I can ride my bike. On this exercise, the student will write the correct word based on the number definition. Words will wrap around going across, up, down, and backward. Start with number one. 
First, read the given definition. Feeling fear or frightened. We know this is the definition for afraid, so we neatly write each letter in its correct box starting with number one. Here, unscramble the words to form a sentence. Remember to capitalize the first word in each sentence and use punctuation at the end. It helps to also cross out used words. Let's look at number one. We are given the words the, flower, was, beautiful, and garden. So we must unscramble the words to form a complete sentence. The flower garden was beautiful. On this activity, the student will write the correct word in each blank, cross out each word after it is used. Let's look at number one. Everyone bowed when the blank entered the room. So we look at the word bank and find that queen is the correct word. So we cross out the used word and write queen neatly in the provided space. Lastly, the student will write a short story of at least three sentences. Be sure that the sentences make sense together. A good story would be like this one. A robin was in her nest. She was alone with no animal in sight. Then a scary snake slithered under the tree she was in. The snake rested and the robin was no longer alone. For any further questions or explanations, please contact your Gideon instructor.